Okay, hi guys, I'm Mary. Uh, today I want to talk about one of my hobby, and uh, I work at, always at home. And could you let me uh, share my screen? Yeah, this is this is my work. Um, I'm drawing on a on a wood with. Uh, white pencil and you can you can do uh, if you wanted to do that you can you can transfer any form any shape you want it on a wood and after that i'm going to show you uh, after transfer the form in my plate as you see that i use a white pen Then then I'm going to the show you um, I'm, I'm, I use a um, burning tools to make a, you know as a carving on my wood. And as you, you can see, I'm carved in any line or any form. I draw on my wood. If I'm going to the a little fast, if you look at this, this here, I'm going to show you. Yeah. This form to give the opportunity to me have a little deep line uh, top of my <clears throat> top of my plate. And then, as you see that, I'm going to make another video. As you see, I finished. I finished the carving on my wood. And it has a little, you know, line, line, deep line. And then I'm going to show you uh, next process, I want to do that on my wood. So, as you see that, this is finished. I carve form, any detail of the form on my top of my wood. And in next video, I'm going to show you, I uh, use color, acrylic color, color to make some paint, uh, painted some places of the, my, my drawing. Uh, yeah. I use acrylic color. I'm going to the more of a little forward. Yeah, you can see that I put some part of the flower on head of the woman and the earring and some part of the flower. And then this is Yeah, this is the first, my first, the first color I'm, I already used on top of my wood. And for next part, I'm using a blue one. This is acrylic too. And <clears throat> yeah, I mixed a little with the water because I wanted the, yeah put some part of the light form of the color and some part of my drawing. And if I want to, I'm go to the little forward because I, I think this is, this is so, so long video. And
and as you see, I use some form of dot or some line of the blue color. I wanted to show you because this is a wet. If I, you know, fall off, maybe the color going to the down. But as you see that, I put some color in here, blue and the gold one, uh, to to make a little, you know, focus to some part of my drawing, and to the next one. As you see that my painting is finished. And for my next video, I want to show you another material I want to use. I'm going to use it on top of my trace. Uh, for this part, I'm going to the, use a resin uh, to do the top of my painting. This is a resin. That I have another one is a hardener. I'm going to the I'm going to the add resin and hardener it together. Half of the resin, I'm going to the, use a hardener. Yeah. After I mix them. I put the top of my my drawing. Um, before using resin, you should you should be careful the color that you put on your drawing is going to the dry completely. Yeah, you have to clean it. It doesn't have any dust, anything on top of them, top of your work, and. You, I use the resin. To make a shiny, you know, surface. For my artwork. This is my hobby. Then I love, I love to do that at home. But I'm already created some table and a small table and some, you know, something like that as a plate, as a cup, inside the cup, a box. I use this method to create some beautiful form inside them. Uh, yes. And after you put resin top of your your plate or anything that you want to use it if you're interested about it, you should be you should be making the soft. And after that, leave them around 20 hours or 72 hours to dry. But you should put on, you know, some places it doesn't have any dust, any, you know, if you have a pet at home, you should put, put another <laughs> on a, you know, I put, um, because I have a cat, I put on my closet to dry it. Because the, the resin is wet, but it's a, you know, anything can um, you know, anything can keep <laughs> top of this. But this going to the you know, last the shiny part. And here I finish it. Just I wanted to show you a little hard for me to fix my my phone. But this is my art piece, and I leave it to um to dry. Uh, here, this is completely I think dry. But I wanted to show you when you put a resin top of your painting, it's going to so appear. 
and um, but I like it. But this is so make it so you can see any texture, any form. And also, I'm sorry. <laughs> this, is my other this is my. I designed it in different form. Just I wanted to show you. How can you design it? I, I, I put in my, you know, some shelf in my home. And different form of this. And different view. Just I want to show you how can you see the, you know, texture and the drawing. But also if you want it, you can because it, um, I make a hole in here, you can um, create some, you know, some form to hanging your design from your, you know, your plate or anything you design it on a wall. This is like that. It's a different form of this. I'm going to just show you the video. My internet a little, you know, slow. I'm sorry about it. Maybe sometimes it's going to the stop or slowing. But just I want to show you the form of my art piece. And I told you this is my hobby, and I like it. I can create so many different form or design or painting on top of the wood, and you can choose a different color of the wood. And, and also different uh, you know, acrylic color or different texture if you want it. And after that, when you use a re resin on top of them, it's going to the so you know, alive and so beautiful art piece. I hope you like my video and I really appreciate it. Share if you share your idea with me. Thank you so much.